two daycare workers are facing charges. One of them is accused of abusing two babies. Deputies say the abuse resulted in fractures in a baby's leg. The incidents were recorded on video at Time of Wonder Academy in Tampa. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is joining us now live at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Aaron, you spoke with the co-owner of this facility today. Tell us what she said. Well, Kelly, just like many of us, uh, she couldn't believe her eyes as she watched that video, and she is glad that the people involved were arrested swiftly. At 8 a.m. on September 8th, a security camera at Time of Wonder Daycare in Tampa recorded a worker lifting a one-year-old out of a motorized swing by his wrists and placing him hard onto the floor. Investigators say doing so caused the child to fracture his tibia and fibula, two bones in his leg. I can't believe somebody can do that one with a child. Neither can Hillsborough deputies, but as surveillance video shows, it didn't stop there. At 11 a.m., detectives say Yamirka Menendez hit that same child in the head while he was in the electronic swing. Later that same day, Menendez is accused of slapping a four-month-old and yanking that child's leg during feeding time. Bianca D'Andrea, the daycare's co-owner, was on the verge of tears as she discussed the video. I spent more, more hours with these children than the parents. That video is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. The sheriff's office was notified after the one-year-old's mother took the child to the hospital because of the leg injuries. Menendez faces child abuse charges. I understand that we are human, but I cannot understand that you are and behave like an animal. Milagros Rodriguez is the woman who was in the daycare room with Menendez. She's charged with failure to report the abuse. D'Andrea is furious with the workers. Of course I am. I, I, I feel embarrassed because it's like it happened in my house. She says she still trusts the rest of her employees and she hopes the parents of other children there do too. You guys, parents, you are my eyes. Any little thing I have to know because we are here to protect children. And Diario says that both women passed strict background checks and had no prior arrests. And she says uh, that she plans to rework these cameras, Kelly, to try to make them uh, be able to try to allow parents to be able to access them remotely so that they can keep their eyes on their kids as well. Well, we're thinking about the babies and I can't, it's the video is just so hard to watch. And all right, Aaron Mesmer, thank you so much, Aaron.